Hey everyone, welcome back to Part Out where we talk about off-road rigs and accessories. Now, as you can see behind me, we got a big boy. Yep, we've got a Ram 3500 with a 6.4 liter Hemi. All right, so first impressions looking at this Ram is obviously we have a full blacked out Bighorn package. So this truck is just looking real mean, not real lean. I mean, it's just kind of, kind of heavy, but all in all, we are looking at a truck that has a BDS suspension, four inch radius arm lift on 35 inch tires. The lift actually can accommodate up to a 37 inch tire, but the owner of this truck, he wanted to keep it a little more modest like Ram owners typically don't do, but this guy, he wanted to keep it nice and clean with a 35 inch tire. And uh, we also have some fuel wheels on there and it just all together, this is a really good looking truck. So uh, let's go ahead and dive into it, look at some parts and talk about it. Up front, we've got the BDS suspension, Pro Ride coil springs. Uh, it really helps the truck out, especially when you're lifting it up and stuff, that it'll still retain that factory ride quality and stuff like that. So we've also got it paired up with some Fox 2.0 performance series shocks that are gonna really do a good job soaking up the bumps and all that. I mean, this is a really high-end kit, guys. Like this thing is not only, you know, stanced out just right, but it's gonna ride really good. So, uh, you know the guys at BDS suspension over-engineer this stuff to just handle everything you throw at it. Um, coming around to the front, we are looking at the BDS suspension front dual steering stabilizer using Fox uh, stabilizers as well. That'll help with the oversized tires, all that kind of stuff to make sure you're to really fight the tires as much. So we're looking at some really heavy duty radius arms uh, to help control the front axle and all the motion that's going on up there. Uh, this is really a good setup for just daily driver use. Um, it can handle just fine going off road. You can hit it on rocks and stuff. This thing is really robust. Uh, not to mention it makes the truck look a lot cooler when you come up close to it, look underneath it and stuff. It's really cool to see the detail that goes into the BDS products. Coming around to the rear, we're also gonna be looking at the Pro Ride Leaf Springs that BDS is offering as well as it also has an aftermarket airbag system by Airlift. Use it as you will. People that get airbags in the rear usually want to keep the stance nice and level, especially when you're hauling a lot of heavy stuff in the rear. So really just a good setup for this truck. It's a very, just a very clean, good looking Ram. The other thing that I want to point out is that yes, we're running the 6.4 liter Hemi on a 3500 truck. Don't see as many of these uh, around here. Usually we like to see the, the Cummins. It, it doesn't really matter. I mean, the guy that got the, the 6.4 Hemi in here, he's running 410 horsepower, roughly 430 foot-pounds of torque. It's, it's no slouch. I'll leave it at that. Um, if you're going to upgrade to the Cummins, uh, I believe it's like an $11,000 upgrade, and you'll be bumped up uh, to 1,000 foot-pounds of torque, and you'll have just a smidge less horsepower in that variant. I mean, this truck out the gate, I think is gonna be good to go. Uh, we'll do a little zero to 60 test here in a little bit. For right now, let's go ahead and take her for a drive and you know, see how it is. Okay, here we go. Oh, where are the steps? They're in the wrong position. Not where your foot goes. All right. Oh, I just realized I forgot to do something before I drive this truck. Okay, it's just not right. Ah, good to go. Good to go. That's better. It's a pretty good startup. A lot of sound deadening in this truck, but it's pretty good sounding. First thing I'm noticing is that it is a very cold winter day here in Michigan, and I've noticed that the heated seats and the heated steering wheel automatically turn on when the truck turns on. I'm guessing that has to happen at some sort of uh, temperature level for it to automatically engage. So that's a pretty cool touch. It's either cool or we're getting lazier as a society to not even hit our button ourselves, but whatever. Ooh. Whoa, hello, okay. Okay, yep, so the throttle management system is super sensitive. Like you just like tap on the gas pedal. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm really looking forward to how this zero to 60 test goes. This is gonna be sweet. All right, I'm liking the sounds of this 6.4 Hemi. This is a good day. <laughs> yeah, boy. Driving a brand new 2020 Ram 3500. It's a pretty, it, it's just a good day. I, I just, I like, I like this truck. With the BDS lift on here, I just feel like the king of the road. This truck just sits just nice and tall, but not, not obnoxiously tall. This is definitely a daily drivable truck. The, the 35 inch tires aren't 
overkill. It's just, everything is just so right about this truck. I, and I have to admit, uh, when Ram redesigned the interior, exterior, like the, the whole truck is basically like brand new, but when they redesigned the interior, uh, it's just, it's a really good place to be. Like you just, it's, everything's laid out just the way you want it. This one doesn't have that huge touch screen, which I'm, I'm kind of for, kind of against. I do like the fact that you just have the actual manual knobs that you can turn everything with. Uh, it's just, you know, you're not relying everything to run through the infotainment screen. Um, the center console is great. Everything's very usable. A lot of cup holders, a lot of storage space. I mean, not a lot bad I can say about this truck. I mean, there's a lot of hard plastics here and there, but you got to cut costs somewhere. We're, we've got the cloth seats. This is a bighorn truck with the mega cab. I don't know if they still call it the mega cab or not, but the rear seats have room to recline so your back seat passengers can ride in style and comfort. Man, this, this truck, you just, you just feel cool driving it. The, the BF Goodrich tires on here, they're you know they ride smooth I've, I've never had an issue with bf goodrich tires the the fuel wheels everything just it just looks really good i know i keep saying that a lot but i just you know I, I'm, I'm digging this truck the 6.4 hemi that we have in this truck is paired up to an eight speed transmission that seems to do just fine shifting there's no real clunks or anything going on we'll we'll see what it does when we you know mash on it for a zero to 60 test but um it's a very smooth riding truck and uh, it's paired up to uh, 410 gearing front and rear and I, I think this thing is just a, a great workhorse for a truck as far as just the entire setup here. Uh, granted it's not the diesel, it's not going to have a thousand foot pounds of torque ready to just launch you off the line but we've got the horsepower to carry us through and I think I think this is going to be pretty interesting so let's, let's turn this truck around. We've got a wide open straight, we'll see what she does going to come to a complete stop. We're going to do this twice. We're going to do this once in rear wheel drive because I'm pretty sure we're just going to spin the tires and then we're going to do it in four wheel drive and see if we get a better time. So here we go in three, two, one. Yep, spinning tires. Trash control kicking in. Okay. Camera didn't like that one bit. Let's go ahead. We're gonna shift into four high. So that first run, we had some wheel spin, trash control kicked on. The truck wasn't happy, but at the same time, the engine was happy because it was really wanting to go. I could feel there was plenty of power to move this this truck uh, where it wanted to go. We ended up doing an eight second zero to sixty, but that was literally because tires were spinning and stuff. So now we're in four wheel high, and we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna launch it on through and. Hopefully the camera stays where it's got to stay and uh, we'll, we'll get her going. So here we go. All right. In three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> this big of a truck should not be doing what it just did, but 7.2 seconds. That... <laughs> It just wants to go. That was cool. That was really cool. Well, since we got that out of the way, um, I know this is an off-road channel. You can take this truck off-road, and I know each and every one of you that buys a truck like this is gonna do exactly what I just did there. So that's why I did this very necessary test. Alrighty then. Back to the you know the off-road accessory part of the, the the channel where I you know I have to talk about the accessories that are on here. Um, I pretty much hammered down that yeah it's got a BDS suspension lift on it. Really can't go wrong with going with those guys. These th this truck just feels just like it did from the factory. Like this this feels really good, really solid. Um, it had no issues when I was you know flooring it. Nothing felt like there was like any sort of driveline vibrations. Nothing. This truck feels rock solid. I know it's a very very new, very brand new truck. It only has 100 miles on it. And a lot of people are probably wondering, is it really worth lifting your truck? You could void the warranty, all that kind of stuff. Not with a BDS lift, lift system. These kits are covered by what they call the 560 plus protection plan that, that covers your truck's warranty in the event that something happens or breaks on your truck that isn't at the fault of the suspension. Your factory warranty can pick it up. If it is at the fault of the aftermarket suspension, BDS steps in and picks up the, the, the fault or the issue or whatever. Um, you just have to contact them and it, it turns into a little bit of a back and forth and they eventually it all gets sorted out. 
Just listen to that. In this day and age when you've got Ford and GM making all their electric stuff, you've got FCA just shoving Hemis into everything, whether it be a Hellcat or a 6.4, they just know how to have a good time. And that is probably why FCA is doing so well in the market right now. This is so good. This is so fun. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would you look at that? It's gas station o'clock. I could listen to this engine all day. I can see why people go over the 6.4. It's, it's cheaper. It still gives you a lot of power. Price point wise, this truck is sitting, I think right around upper 50s. So when you add the lift and tires and wheels, I think we're looking probably right around the mid 60s. It's a pretty good size purchase, but Honestly, if you're using the truck for you know work purposes, you have toys you want to haul around, whether it be a boat, uh, a trail rig, or anything like that, this truck's pretty good for it. And it's super comfortable. It's got all the modern amenities that you would get out of normal luxury cars. Like this is just a very, very awesome truck. If you guys have any questions about this truck, the parts that are on it, what you might do differently, how you would spec this truck. There's a, there's a million things you can do in the uh, factory catalog for this truck as far as you know how you can spec it. Um, I'm, I'm liking the way this one is. It's not too over the top on options. It's not too little like a, a tradesman truck. It's, this is a, just, a, just a good setup. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments, how would you build this truck? How would you use this truck? Would you actually take it off-road on the trails? Would you use it just for towing purposes? Or would you just use it just to be uh, just a guy with a big truck? If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Also, feel free to subscribe, hit the bell notification. That way I'll notify you when I'm out driving some other random awesome lifted truck. Um, I really enjoy making these videos. I'm sure it's not as much fun for you because you're obviously just watching the video. You're not in the truck with me or driving the truck. But hopefully these videos kind of inspire you guys to get out there, build your own truck, and make it into whatever it is that you want it to be. This is just great. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time. I'm going to keep driving this Hemi. God dang. Mm.